and welcome back. Well, today it has been a beautiful day outside. 89 degrees was our high, 64 was our low this morning, so it was a little chilly outside. Could be chillier. 1904, 58 degrees was our record low. Of course, no precipitation. We don't need any, and we're not going to get some for a little while longer. We are looking at some as we go into your weekend, unfortunately. Tonight's forecast, 65 degrees, clear skies, winds pretty calm out of the east northeast. And for your highs for tomorrow, yeah, right near average in the lower 90s. Partly sunny skies will have a few more clouds, mainly down to our south, but those will start moving on up to the north as that front we were talking about way down in, it was in the Gulf of Mexico yesterday. It's going to slowly move back up as we go on throughout the weekend, and we're going to have another boundary rolling through with that. It's going to bring the chance for some showers and thunderstorms. And unfortunately, you're seeing this right. Our heat indices are looking to be in the upper 90s near that century mark once again tomorrow. So and get ready for a, a start to some mugginess today. To put it into perspective, our humidity values, our percentage humidity, was only by about 40% overall throughout the day. We had dew points in the 50s. Beautiful. Those are going to start to move back into the mid 60s, even some 70s over the next several days. Visible satellite outside today, you don't see a lot of clouds. Again, we had a few high clouds. That's really about it. You can see we're in what we call a saddle point here. So you have the high pressure on off to the west. That's where you kind of get the, this motion here, this clockwise motion. Comes down and then it kind of jolts out. And that is uh, we're in between two systems right now. So. And that's what we're watching for is as this high pressure moves on off to the east. And yeah, it's going to start to allow this front to roll back to the north and bring in again several more rounds of potential showers. Radar satellite has been clear what you're seeing up to the north. Uh, that's just some uh, returns, no showers hitting the ground right now. That happens pretty often um, during the day. You can see that could be bugs, number of things, birds. Uh, here's all the dry air. Again, that's why we know there's no showers. You don't really see any moisture. You don't see any clouds popping up along northern Mississippi. Really don't see very many clouds except down near the Gulf Coast. This is that one boundary we're talking about that's become stationary and it's going to become not so stationary again next 48 hours or so. Future radar, though, is going to keep us clear tonight into tomorrow as well. We'll have a slight chance for some showers tomorrow during the afternoon evening hours. Better chances down to the south. And then once we go into your Saturday, those chances will stay with us, albeit a little bit better, or a little bit more coverage, I should say. Throughout the weekend overall, remember yesterday we talked about the little system we were watching. And it's going to stay disorganized throughout the weekend, so we're not going to worry about it too much. What it is going to bring, though, is some of that moisture back from the southeast. So that's why it's going to start to become a little bit more muggy over the next several days. So here you go, Friday, Saturday, only about a 20 to a 30% chance of showers. I didn't even put it on here because I don't want you to worry about it. It's still going to be nice outside, partly sunny. The chance really starts on Sunday into Monday and Tuesday as temperatures stay right near average. Overnight lows get back to the 70s by Sunday night. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.